Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with video 4 of our Introduction to Information Technology videos. And we're going to be going over this terminology up here and as you can see the most important concept we're going over today is primary storage. But before we get there we'll cover a few other concepts. So MIDs or mobile internet devices are smaller than notebook computers but larger and more powerful than PDAs and cell phones. And MIDs are multimedia devices for consumers and business professionals. Now we also have PDAs, or Personal Digital Assistants, also called handheld computers or palm tops, combine personal organization tools, schedule planners, address books, to-do lists, with the ability in some cases to send email and faxes. E-readers are electronic devices that can download e-books, digital versions of regular books, articles, and magazines from various suppliers. Microcontrollers, also called embedded computers, are tiny, specialized microprocessors installed in smart applications and automobiles. A server, or network server, in a central computer, is a central computer that holds connections of data, databases, and programs for connecting or supplying services to PCs, workstations, and other devices, which are called clients. These clients are linked by a wired or wireless network. The entire network is called a client-server network. Data consists of the raw facts and figures that are processed into information. Information, and this is a key thing here, data and information, we have to look at the contrast here. So data is the raw facts and figures that are processed into information, whereas information is data that has been summarized or otherwise manipulated for use in decision making. Right, so this is just raw stuff, right? But then here, this is information is what we make a decision over. So this impacts the decision-making process. Whereas data, we can't use that to make a decision because we haven't analyzed it yet. So the 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 um the evolution of this it, from data to information, right? So to go from data to information, we have to analyze, right? And when we analyze and process this data, it becomes information that helps us make decisions. Now, processing is the manipulation a computer does to transform data into information. So, instead of analysis, we could actually call this processing. So, again, notice, I'll do it in a different color here, that we have data to start out. We process that data, and now we have information. And now, the last thing I wanted to go over is primary storage. We also call this memory. And this is internal computer circuitry, right, or computer chips that temporarily hold data waiting to be processed. Now, there's also secondary storage, which is a concept we're going to touch on in the next tutorial video. But for now, just know that primary storage is a very important concept. And so we're going to put a few asterisks like that around it. So if, if you pick up anything from this video, pick up that data after being processed is called information. And also that primary storage is a type of memory with the internal computer circuitry chips that temporarily holds data waiting to be processed. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.